Hello, everybody. I'm Gary Laubach, along with our starting quarterback, Sean O'Malley. Started every game last year as a freshman. That has not happened at Lafayette ever before. So let's just go back one year and talk about how difficult the season was for you to prepare yourself for college football right out of high school. Uh, yeah, it was pretty difficult. It was kind of a uh, baptism by fire of sorts. Um, you know, on the first day I got here and I just went to work, I just figured if I learn the plays well and I perform mm -hmm. and I execute, then I, things are going to work out. And, uh, you know, that really hasn't changed. That's still my preparation this year. You know, we're all still coming back here in the summer and nobody knows what's going to happen. So, I mean, all we can do is prepare and trust your preparation. And that's something that really helped me last season is I, you know, when things got a little crazy and the live bullets start mm -hmm. flying, just mm -hmm. to fall back on your preparation and trust the coaching and trust what you've been told to do and it worked out to be pretty good. That wasn't your only acclimation. You came all the way from the West Coast, California, <laughs> to the East Coast. Uh, how'd you manage to pick Lafayette and get to it? Um, so it's kind of one of the schools that really worked out in my recruiting process. Um, at first I was getting recruited by a lot of Ivy League schools and I knew I wanted the, obviously, like a good school and mm -hmm. good football mm -hmm. balance. So I figured the Ivy League and Patriot League, these types of schools with, you know, Division One football and, you know, high level football, but also high level academics were really good for me. And uh, thankfully Lafayette worked out at the time and now I'm here. Now you go from year one to year two, you look around and you see there's five other quarterbacks vying for your job. Do you like that competition or would you prefer that it wouldn't be so great? Oh no, I love the competition. You know, it, competition brings out the best in all of us. You know, I think it's really good to have different guys in that room and guys who can push each other because mm -hmm. that's how we're going to get better. Offense sputtered a little bit last year, particularly the rushing game. Do you feel a little bit more confident about our ability to run the ball this year? Oh, 100%. I mean, we have um, great chemistry on the O-line this year up front and it's gonna be a huge improvement and it's really gonna help us mm -hmm. get that balanced offense that we've been looking for because we've got that pass threat that we really established last year and you know this year we got a lot of good running backs in the backfield and I think it's gonna be really exciting. The other guys you really count on are your receiving core. Uh, who do you like out there? Uh, we got I mean we got a lot of great guys. Our receivers work really hard and it's just it's just a testament to their work ethic. Um, Nick Pearson's coming back healthy off his shoulder. He's looking really good. And also uh, some new guys like Quinn Revere, mm -hmm, uh, sophomore mm -hmm. receiver from Dallas, Texas. He's doing a great job. He's worked he's worked incredibly hard this offseason. And um, it's going to be really exciting to see a lot of these younger guys come in here and, and work and play. Sean O'Malley, under center for Lafayette. He'll be our starting quarterback when they open the, the with Sacred Heart on September 1. Sean, thanks for stopping by. Thank